Hello, 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 everybody. All right, so uh, it's time for a toot for a short tutorial about doing something really cool. So uh, let's jump right into it. All right, let me pop out. And uh, this is what we are going to be doing sphere. Yeah. But this sphere is a little bit, you know, different. I'm going to simulate, I'm going to grab it. Right, and if I move it, you can see that it has a little bit of a delay between you know where I move it and when it ends being right. And all right, this might be cool, right, to play along, right? You can do like sweet animations doing things like this. You can even you know rotate it and it should be following the rotation. Oh no, I sorry, I turned off the rotation on this one, so yeah, never mind that. But another thing that is cool is that because it follows you know this thing i can make it collide and it will you know have the actual bouncing and you can go and do things like right like bouncing the ball and not only bouncing it will also be this um uh bb8 sort of you know animation like that and this is the kind of animations that are really really hard to achieve you know to not you know so this is why it, this is very cool that you are animated in a uh, game engine right uh, so you're going to be able to do things like right a ball lands you know and it will drop and do things like that and you will have you know be animating with kinematics and the rest is going to be a uh, simulation uh, so let me show you how this is done all right cool and i know because you know many um, teams are using some sort of sphere element, right? And I wanted to provide like something, you know, really easy to animate, right? To have a little bit of lively, you know, behavior out of a ball without having it to be completely simulated. But all right, enough, it's enough. Let's talk about how this was made. So first of all, this thing is what is called um, physic control. But it is, it's, well, it's a new thing that is experimental in real, and it's, it is exper experimental in real 5.2, and it's called Physic Control Component, right? So let's build one of these, right? So the first thing that we're gonna need is to create, you know, a blueprint, an actor class is going to be good enough, and let's call it, um, yeah, PC, like Physic Control Component, PCC. No, I'm sorry about PC. It comes to be more than enough, right? All right, so PC, and then, ah, one very important thing is that it's still a plugin as anything that is experimental in, inside Unreal. So you're gonna have to come to your plugin list and search for um, physics control. Ah, uh, here it is is this one right here physics control experimental blah 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 you enable it you restart your engine and that will allow you to you know when you double click on your uh blueprint class right that if you go up here you're going to be able to search for control and you're going to have a physic control right there right before that we need to make a couple of scaffolding type of you know structure hierarchy for it to work as you know as you saw it um so let's first of all create um two spheres two spheres is going to do you know best and it's just because you're going to need one of them to be the driver and the other one to be the follower right mm -hmm. and they're going to be in this type of hierarchy so you're going to have you know the default scene root the sphere and the sphere one that's it, that's all you will need. Plus that at some point you need to also add the physic control, this one right here, right? And that's it, that's all you are going to need. Now, let me um, set this a little bit bigger, right? And that's it, so now let's go to the actual event graph and we're just going to need the actual event um, begin play, right? 
and we're going to need the actual physics control and from here we're going to uh, need a node that is called uh, it's not make uh, it is create control here it is good and this is mostly what we're going to be using like there is nothing it's nothing too crazy right so from begin uh begin play you create you know a control you connect your physic control to target right and then we're going to need a child mesh component that is going to be our let's say that this let's rename it so we know what this one is going to be so this is going to be my um sphere simulating right and this is going to be my sphere goal, right? That is, this is how it's gonna happen, right? So this first simulating is the one that should be in the child, right? And the sphere goal is the one that should be in the parent, right? And nothing more, you can, you know, if you want to, you know, uh, control more stuff, feel free, you know, to, um, um, drag out from control data and you can make physic control data and you can set it set it aside there you can create one for the actual control target and you can make you know some offsets if you need right and then lastly you're going to have control settings and these ones are you know pretty pretty important these are um sorry which ones are the important ones not not these two is this one that is important so here in the actual physics control data you get you know to set the strength the angular damping and you know many many other you know um settings right that will control how this uh, sphere that is simulating will follow you know this goal so first thing first we need also to set our simulating uh, sphere to actually be simulating and we want also to disable gravity on it right that's it let's save this and let's um let's throw it inside here and see what we get and let's simulate and as you can see it is already working uh but the thing is that both uh spheres um have collision right so it's it's not able you know even though it's fun to play with this like but yeah we need them both to be in the same place because if not it's going to be very hard right to animate the cool thing is that you can you know rotate this one and it will try you know to follow along maybe if you can get a bunch of these spheres you know following this one and colliding with it it might look cool i don't know that's an idea that i'm going to plan as a, an inception in your mind right but all right so how to fix the fact that this sphere goal has um, collision. Well, you cannot turn off collision as it is because for some reason it will need some sort of collision. If you set this to no collision, the whole thing breaks down. So the only one that I found out that is good is the ignore only pawn, right? So it will ignore self collisions. That is what it, this should be saying, right? So let now, you know, Accept here, uh, I mean, compile, save. And now if we play, you can see that now we have two spheres, right? And they're both going to be living in the same space until, you know, that thing hits with another thing. Let me show you something cool. It will also, you know, collide with other things with uh, the actual uh, physics control. So this could be another, you know, uh, amazing thing to use I don't know where but yeah it could be it could be nice all right all right so um, last thing is of course we need the actual goal to disappear right not only visually but in render also or you know in game so let's go down until we find the rendering and it's not gonna be visible our goal and it's going to be hidden in game and now let's compile safe. And the only thing extra that I would do is that this angular damping radio, 
uh, no, the angular strength, I'm going to drop it to zero. So it will, you know, um, um, rotate on its own. And if you want to actually see the rotation, let's select our sphere. So white sphere is going to be really hard to see, you know, bouncing or oh, rotating. Uh, and now, no, not there, uh, there. Now you can see that if it collides and I move it, it will start rotating with it, right? You can later on, you know, do things like maybe also changing the actual physics material, you know, for the actual simulated sphere. Like I, uh, Unreal will give you like some, you know, out of the package. So you can pick rubber and I also already assigned rubber to, uh, to the floor and this will make it like be a little bit bouncy when it hits you know the ground which is good right you have again you know half simulation half kinematics and it will also you know follow around and collide with other things that have that control thing and yeah you know be my guest use this and you know be famous um am i forgetting something here um no i don't think so yeah i talk about the physics material and everything here yeah i'm guessing that's all uh so yeah feel free again you should be more than able also to create like a level sequence right and add your um, um actor right your physics uh, your blueprint actor Let's create a transform to it. Let's create a key. Uh, and let me fix this. This should be maybe cubic. So I'm going to delete this and create a new one because I have auto key. I can you know, set it like around there and that is going to be good. Then I want it to go maybe, you know, forward, maybe a little bit, you know, on the ground just because I wanted to have a good contact right then it's going to go there and then it's going to go maybe there right so now let's see if this thing works i'm going to first simulate and then i'm going to hit play and there it is we have the um, magic ball you know rotating with the contact of the actual floor and it will bounce uh, with other things it is going to be you know again half physical and half um, uh, kinematics, all right? And as usual, love you all, be good to anyone, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.